Edmondson. I, I know a couple of family members. They were very prominent in High Point. She was considered the most wealthiest person in High Point around 1935. It's like the who's who of early High Point, Black High Point. And that's the question, who is who? From the mid 1800s to the early 1900s, black people were buried in the so-called colored section of the Oakwood Cemetery. But over the years, some of their tombs have been misplaced. Right now, we're mainly just wanting to know how many people are buried here all together. And now archaeologists and local historians are putting the pieces of this puzzling story together. Using ground penetrating radar, um, to map unmarked graves in a cemetery. Sending radar waves to the ground that signals whether something lies beneath the surface. I just walked over one and just barely moved the pine straw. And oh, wow. World War I ledger. For Phyllis Bridges, she hopes this project does something for the black families whose histories have been wilted with the dark past of slavery and segregation. As some of these graves sit just inches from a Confederates only section. I have come across uh, some research stating that some African Americans were buried too close to that section and they were dug up and placed somewhere else, but where we don't know. But she hasn't forgotten about the loved ones buried here. Annie Pitts, she was a former slave of one of High Point's early uh, founders, the Welch family. Um, she's buried here. Making it a point to connect the living with those who've passed. I met her great, 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 great grandson right after I started this project. Uh, they live in Winston-Salem. She hopes people who see this sign remember one thing. We were business people. We were property owners. We were respected in the community. We were family people, just like any other group of people.